Yannis, how would you sum up what life's been like for you as a, a Rangers player recently? Oof, um, mixed feelings. Um, I've been really positive regarding my health. Um, I've been back since January and since then things um, in training on a daily basis are really good. I can see progression every day and I think that was the focus um, to just get healthy and get fit so that I can play um, every week a little bit more. Um, so I was positive on this but then obviously uh, regarding the team, regarding uh, the performances, I think that's a, that's a clear, a clear disappointment for every single person out here uh, that surrounds this football club. Um, but um, look, we've got five, five games left, um, four weeks to go until um, the season ends for Rangers. I've got hopefully another two games with the national team and um, that's my f only focus right now. It's not the scenario any of you would have wanted with so little to play for at the end of the season. Is there any sort of silver lining in, in your hope that maybe you can use this period to, to get a bit more first team football? No, oh, definitely. Um, I think it's a good good opportunity for players that come back from big injuries like myself, uh, players that um, haven't played uh, too many minutes. Um, so I think it's it's opportunity to just um, you know see where you at and um, just um, uh, even even before just try to uh, to win your your Rangers shirt. And I think uh, it's nothing new for the players around here and. Uh, the ones that came from January on, um, I think they, they felt it on their own skin. Um, so um, this is life at Rangers, right? Um, we got to accept what, uh, what the season uh, happened and um, move forward, try to build on this five games, uh, end it strong, as strong as possible, and um, from next season try to build, uh, build it up. Yes, you talked about your own health. Um, I think uh, the date that you were coming back was in January. And people obviously expect you to come back in January, right? Yeah. There. But it's more complex than that, especially when you've had such a, a, a difficult injury. Could you explain the, the process and what's been happening behind the scenes in terms of your own progression? Yeah, look, I, um, before I got injured, I thought long-term injuries are quite straightforward, but they're not. Um, especially ACL injuries, um, they're honestly, they're no joke. Uh, it's, it's really hard. You go through so many emotions. And once you're back, um, you have to you have to realize that I've came back in the middle of the season, basically when um, every single player just hits their heights, like it, they're at their peak uh, physically. Wise, whereas I basically start from zero, so I'm basically kind of beginning of a preseason. So there's not much time of training because you at at this football club you play almost every three days, four days, um, and there's not not much time of training there's obviously if you have to play you have to deliver you can't just get on the pitch and uh, you know oh we we've got time for you so it's a it's a really tricky one where you have to basically just fight yourself through it uh, try to find minutes every now and then um, I've got minutes with the second team as well um, so just trying to um, you know be in constant communication with the manager see what's best for me um, but in the same time, you know, the team comes first. Um, you try to um, to win in the same time. So it's mixed feelings. Um, plus, I'm not used in a situation where I'm not where I'm not playing, where I'm not starting. You know, I've always been able, uh, always been used to start. So um, yeah, as I said, as the question, the previous question, mixed feelings. Um, I've been trying to fight myself through it, but in the same time, accept the situation and understand that I've been out for a year, and that's not a month, that's not two months, that's twelve months, and um, I'm not taking that as an excuse, but um, I'm definitely trying to work myself through it and uh, push myself to the limits to to get to where I want to be. And do you feel physically now that you're back to where you were before, perhaps even better? Um, look, um, in terms of like my knee, I'm I'm fit since January. Because if not, I would I wouldn't have been able to to train or play. Um, but in terms of aerobic fitness, um, I don't think I'm able to play 90 minutes. I have to be true on that. But I'm definitely better than where I, was, I was, where I was three months ago. I've been playing, as I said, 75 minutes with the second team. I've been coming in every now and then, 10, 15 minutes in, uh, in with, the, with the first team. So I'm building, I'm building up. Um, I feel like my fitness is getting better, as I said, every week. Um, 
but it feels like now I'm kind of enjoying my football more and more and it's unfortunate because the season ends really quick but as I said I have these five games hopefully two more games with the national team and try to make the best out of it. Janis, do you think you'll be 100% ready to play 90 minutes from the start of next season given that you have a pre-season with the team as well? Well I think it depends on the minutes like if if I build it up I can play even by the end of the season I can play so it, it's a matter of just how you build up minutes usually in um when you start from zero on a, in a preseason, you basically build up with 30, 45, 75, 90. So um, things can happen in in a few games, or it might happen from next season. This is uh, not for me to decide. Obviously, um, the minutes I get on the pitch, I try to give 100% and um, try to make something out of it, and uh, hopefully push the the gaffer to to play me more and more. Yeah, you haven't played much under Michael since he's come in. Obviously, as you've just been saying there, but. What do you think that, that, that you can offer this team? We've seen you a few years ago, but where do you see yourself in, in Michael's Rangers team? Look, I think uh, my relationship with him, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a really good one. Um, he knows what type of player I am and what I can bring to, the, to this football club. I know what, um, what I can bring uh, at this football club. I know I've been here for three, almost three and a half years, uh, but I've been injured for, for a year and I know what I've done previously uh, um, and what I brought to this football club and um, it, it's no difference of being a number 10. This is, this is who I am. Um, I, I bring goals, I bring assists, I create for the team even though I don't always have the numbers but uh, it, this, is, this is who I am. Uh, my biggest quality is the, is the vision and the, and, and the knowledge on, on the football pitch and um, this is who I am and obviously fitness wise I have to, as I said, fight back but um, the qualities, I, I never lost them. Yeah, so are you stronger mentally because of all this? It's, it's always really tough for any athlete having to come through an injury and an adversity, but sometimes on the other end, they actually come out stronger. Is that the case? No, yeah, 100%, 100%. I think um, since the first week of my, um, um, after my surgery, I knew this, this uh, recovery will be more mentally than physically. Um, physically, you'll get there, um, at the end, but it's about mentally if you recover from, from what you're going through, um, a year of disappointment and being away from what you basically love to do. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a better place mentally stronger um, than what I was prior to the injury. It's almost like Rangers kind of getting a, a new player back, if you like. Do you think you can be a big player in what's a time of big change for Rangers? We were discussing with the manager about like it's, a, it's like a big reset at the club on and off field. Do you think you can be a, a, a central part of that next season? Yeah, this is, this is the belief I had since, since I started playing football. I, I know what I can bring to, to my team from um, football-wise. Um, um, I know my qualities, as I said, and um, I think the communication and also the advantage that uh, I've worked with, with a gaffer previously. Uh, he, knows, he knows who I am as a football player. He knows what I like and um, what position I can play. And um, it's, it's down to, in my opinion, it's down to just getting, getting back to full fitness in terms of minutes uh, and aerobic talking. So um, afterwards, um, I don't really have doubts about my football qualities. Last one, Katie. Look, I think everybody, everybody knows publicly that it's uh, it's going to be a big change in the summer. Um, what I can talk, it's 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 about myself and what I can control. Um, so uh, for me, it's as I said, five games with the with Rangers, two more games with the national team. Try to get the best out of it. Try to get re uh, really good fitness through these seven games, and then have a really off, really good and strong off season. Um, I won't really take off too much, uh, probably a week uh, plus minus, and then just focus on my football because um, I've been away for, for a year and basically this is what I can, tr can control. I think everything else, it's, it's due to the board, to, to the gaffer. I think that's, that's a question for them.